we only ever play League together. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. It's not like we have to play against each other. Right. Sometimes it leans that way. Oh, shit, yeah. shit, shit, go back. Top, 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 top. I really want to go back because I don't think we're safe up here. I think we're all right for a minute. We sit next to each other when we play. We talk when we play. We'll laugh at our own mistakes. You know, you go too deep, you die. Ooh, I didn't die. I'll cover your lane. I don't gank her lane enough, according to Brit. <laughs> I just have to say, mid lane gets ignored by the jungler all the time. <laughs> Make sure you have mana. I have mana. Poke him down before he hits level six, because then he's going to all in on you. If someone's targeting him or somebody kills him, I kind of want to get my revenge. I think it's very yeah, romantic. Yeah, just come to my rescue? I mean, I like to think I can handle myself, but sometimes, you know, I need her help. Oh, shout out behind me, behind me. Run, baby, run. My favorite duck. Oh, jeez. Well, I like them all. The first time I came over to his house, I saw he had a line of about maybe eight to 10 ducks at that bottom shelf right there. And it was really cool to me, not only because he collected ducks like I did, but because he had this one. And I knew at home that I had this one. I had the female companion. It's like they were meant to be together. Rubber ducky, you're the one. Bounty hunting is when somebody is on bond, they don't show up to court, they get an FTA, which is a failure to appear. They hire a bounty hunter to go get you. I was at a point in my career where I got kind of tired of having male partners. Always like, who's the bigger man? All right, what's it look like? That's what it looks like. She was working at a grocery store. She was at the customer service, and I came out with the cheesiest the line. Go to the back. Hey, uh, I'm a bounty hunter. You want to be my partner? And she just gave me this look, and I, I felt like I had put my foot in my mouth. Where? Let me add that you just came off like a total creeper. <laughs> playing the game by yourself is more stressful than playing with someone that you love. It's highly teamwork oriented. I learned that from the very beginning with her. I'm secure 100%. I know she's got my back in, in the game and in bounty hunting. Michael Clark, come out. We know you're there. He's coming to you. He's coming to you. I think guns are sexy. And <laughs> I got a lot of guns. It's like a stone and glass, like sort of thing. Remember you said? Keenan and I have been together for 10 years. The 10 years have flown right on by. It's been excellent. I won't make any jokes. It's been great. <laughs> I started playing a few years ago and then stopped because I was playing by myself. And then when a Mac version came out, I got back into it and realized that, gee, I might have fun with it. And so that turned out to be the case. It's and true. <laughs> we just I, play League now. I held out for a good six months, I think. Yeah. And now every night we just play League Legends before bed. Yeah, pretty much. It's just really satisfying. It's nice that it's, it's short and sweet and you kind of just build up from scratch. And I get to steal Keenan's kills, which is always a lot of fun. I'm not violent. No, not at all. She worked so hard to learn League of Legends for me so that we can have that together in our lives. I want to work a little harder so that we can share more of her second language, American Sign Language. I was born hard of hearing. It's genetically in my family. I hear some words really well, but very rarely do I ever really hear the whole sentence. And it takes a while for people to learn how to talk to me. I'm not going to lie, teaching Brittany, I love you, sweetie, but it was, <laughs> it was hard teaching her. You know, there's a lot of stuff to the game, really. You just have to be patient. You have to take your time. And most of all, it has to be fun. Yeah, you gave me baby steps. Little goals for each teaching session. Helping Brit become a better League of Legends player has been incredibly worth it. It's the truth. <laughs> That's the same for true. Uh, yeah. Love you too. So we're gonna get that 2000th win today. I'm gonna troll your 2000th win. You're gonna troll my 2000th win.
Tyler is goofy. He feels everything very deeply. He is charismatic and outgoing and fun-loving and a lot of the things that I'm not. I think we're gonna have a full team. Uh, well. Me, you, Rocco, Matt, and oh. Troy. He's always the bigger and the better person. He lets things go, he forgives, and just tries to make everything work. Mundo does what he pleases. Mundo does what he pleases. Yeah, we're gay. I love him. He's my muffin. You're my muffin. Everyone's gonna call you muffin oh now. Oh my god, no. Make the top comment be muffin boy. You could play Earth. You can play Earth all day. Where cat cubes could proc cat cubes. <laughs> when you stream and there's people there that see your boyfriend in the background or, hey, who just came in? Oh, that's my boyfriend Shane. You know, most people are just like, oh, that's cute. You're so adorable. I have 1,999 wins and it's about to be 2,000. League is one of my favorite things to do with Shane. You know, we bond over it. It's our us time. He's got 1,057. Shane and I lived an hour and a half apart for the first six months of our relationship. I would get home from school, pop on League, and we would just play League and talk about our day. Tyler is more vocal when we're playing. What? I hopped away. So he pulled me under the turret. How long is the Blitz? Fiddlesticks is coming down too. I first installed League because I saw my friend playing it over at his house. And it, it took me about four months to realize that I needed an actual mouse. <laughs> Hashtag team trackpad. One thing we get <laughs> flack for is definitely playing on a trackpad. I mean, you can play with a trackpad, but you're not gonna win. <laughs> Last season, I got silver five. I like to play mid lane. She's a fantastic duelist. I like playing jungle because I sort of help call the shots and I can help out Brid in lane. You don't come enough though. Always the hate on the jungler. I like to play bot since I like to support. Well, it's gonna be a toss up between mid or jungle. I like being responsible for my own stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna wait. And I also like the maneuverability and or like the mobility that you can get as like a jungler. I main support or mid. I finished this season at gold four and he finished silver three. Yeah. He did very well. I'm very proud of him. My longest win streak was 24 wins. It moved me from my spot in silver all the way into flat. There you go. There you go. I like to play mid, but I'm trash at it, so I mostly just go support. I found out that you can support your way up. Well, there goes Matt. There goes Matt. <laughs> Good luck, guys, you got this. I'm not sure Blitzcrank pulling him over that dragon pit was a smart thing for oh. him to do. Oh my gosh! Yeah, you're just <laughs> It dead. came from all ends. We lost pretty good. It was Thresh Hook, Blitzcrank Pool, Shen Taunt, Fiddle Fear. Yeah, it was, it was a lot of crowd control. I'm the newcomer to the game. We'll go back to bots when he's trying a brand new champion and I'll explain to him what every move does, counter builds, all that. Quit, quit doing blue, we're fighting. He's come a long way. He's Here always open to learning. Atta boy. Ow! Really? I wasn't a bounty hunter before when I first started playing, but the aspects in the game that also relate to bounty hunting, that's what really appeals to me. She's gonna say taser out loud three times so you know it's a tasing and not a gunshot. Are we ready? Yeah, instruct him not to move. Okay, relax, don't move. Okay, try to stay with someone. You're gonna get picked off by yourself. You're going against a bunch of assassins. Yeah, no, you're too fast. Usually I wouldn't be taking orders <laughs> that well, but when she coaches me, if I don't quite understand what she's trying to say, she uses the bounty hunter reference. It's like, well, you know, if you're going to a house, you're just gonna go in blindly. And it's like, no, you're right. You know, you know, be cautious, stay back. Now yell at him, he's under arrest. Don't move, you're under arrest. Taser, taser, taser. Oh! All right, put it off. To compare it to bounty hunting, you know, say I'm down in the bot lane and I see a low health enemy, let's say, or in bounty hunting, I see a fugitive. Can I just go in and capture the fugitive or can I go in and get that kill? I gotta look around me, where are my teammates? Do I have vision in the river? Do I have vision of the fugitive's house? There's a lot of similarities that just, I think, really appeals to me. All right, come Guys, on. get in here, babe, get in here, babe. Where are you your at? Oh, something. No. Well, let's get Dragon anyway. Yeah. Oh, we no, can. No, there you no, go. Never mind. Mom. Let's go up to Baron. Yeah. I found out that I really loved to teach, just to just hold them back for a second. The training side of the game follows me. We actually have these really cool features in here, too, that work great for our team collaboration. I work for a software startup called Sprout Social. I'm the product education manager. I do all of the training for our customers, creating those materials. It is fun to just kind of have something that 
personifies that. Oh, oh yeah. There's Shaco. There's Shaco. Let's get him. Shaco and stuff. It's just a fun way to unwind. My job is incredibly physical. This is Macy. She is here for a heartworm test. So it's just a little blood draw. We deal with a lot of poop at my job. It is probably the most common problem we see. What's in the poop? <laughs> great. Keenan loves when I talk about poop. We see lots of weird things in poop. It's great. I spend most of my days doing a lot of physical labor. And so it's a nice way to come home and hang out with my husband. Plus, our animals are relatively involved. Do you want to go outside? Let's go outside. We rescued Jasper. He was going to be euthanized. I'm not a dog person. I hate getting licked. I hate it when dogs bark. I can't stand dog drool. Uh, so he is the least dog dog I've ever met. Sometimes we'll end a game and go walk Jasper, and we'll like talk about the game and like the different plays that we made. Afterwards, we're like, oh, that was pretty awesome. We should keep doing that. We I should just win every single we time. Why every shouldn't time. we just win? It's more than just American Sign Language being my language. It's also culturally me. I work in the deaf community. I support children with special needs, teaching them how to be proud of themselves, how to push themselves to be the best they can. One of the things that I love about League is that me being hard of hearing doesn't matter. I can read on the screen what people want me to do or see a pain the mini map. It's got a nice. Nice. Finish the job, double kill. Uh, oh, yeah. I like I used to make lots of really cheesy puns, that sort of thing. But she tends to miss the punchline. So how our relationships developed, we sort of developed our own unique physical humor. That's just between the two of us. I'll help Lucy. I should want to get the middle. No, drop no. 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 <laughs> If we were to hold hands down the mall, people would watch. Come on, bring it back. Have you ever made a snowman? I mean, it's been a while. It's been a while? I can obviously tell. It's been a while. I mean, I have family who don't approve of my relationship. This is going to be the ugliest snowman, N.A., bro. Most people on League just tend to accept it. It just disintegrated. That one just disintegrated, too. People are hard on each other in the game. And you know, if you do something wrong, you're going to hear about it. But nobody comes at you because of who you are or what you are. Did you bring anything for eyes and a mouth? He's happy in his ugliness, OK? Don't judge him. Don't dream it, be it. <laughs> go, go get the little twig. There we go, right in there. This is the ugliest snowman I have ever seen in my life. <laughs> he, he may be ugly, but he is ours. This is about to be my 2K. two 2,000th two win. 2K, 2,000, zero, zero. We're on an eight-game losing streak. This it's is going to break it. <laughs> well, never mind, they have a talent mitt. We all have good synergy with each other most of the time. So it kind of eliminates the need to constantly be clicking and typing and communicating things, because we'll just know what we're going to do. We got to oh, do it no. sometime, because oh, there's no. three of them here. Just, just, we'll just wait a minute. He's going to rake Q, and you're dead. No, he won't. Just hold up here a minute. So even when I'm playing with other people, I, you know, I try to give pretty good directions on what I want them to do. I want to see these two nubs engaging their bot lane, and then I will go and get Dragon while I know where their bot lane is. This is going to add 28 magic damage, and that's going to farm up. Kill the Talon. Kill, him. Kill the Talon. He's the backbone. Oh, Shit. well, they're going to, oh, they got good. it. Son of a bitch. <sighs> Kill Talon. Lost the game, though. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. That's an awesome losing streak. That's it's not great. As bad as our one we lost ten. And in I a was row. I was positive in a lot of them actually. So yes, yeah, so let's make some more targets on that since they'll be out. It's a big responsibility. We have to be familiar with the tools. Where's your other one so I can prep those? That's an egg. Maybe I want to pretend we're shooting an egg. <laughs> We have to clean them often, handle them often, go shooting often, keep that muscle memory up. If Joe was a champion, appearance-wise, he definitely could look like a Brom. Is that better? You're in the hole. <laughs> Just grow out his mustache and work out a little bit more. He looks like a Brom. Still low? A 7-6. Cute little furry ball. Little fur ball running around crazy. Yeah. 
Yeah, that too. <laughs> if Tyler could be any champion, I would make him Lulu, because you can put a, a cupcake skin on Lulu and Tyler's Love Muffin. If I could pick a champion for shame to be, it would probably be Teemo, just because nobody likes Teemo, and I think that that'd just be funny. I think Nami's probably actually a pretty good pick, because she has that aspect to her where she can protect the ones that she's she's trying to care about. I think based on your personality, you would be pink Tarek because you're fabulous. Great. Too. I'm super glad that we're going with Tarek. Miss Fortune, no. <laughs> Because of the boobs, isn't it? Actually, who would you want me to be? Leona. Why would you want me to be Leona? Because you're my big, strong warrior woman. <laughs> if I were to choose a champion I'd want him to be, it'd be Pantheon. Because he has rock hard abs. You're getting there. You are, though. <laughs> he has mother rock hard abs. <laughs> She's a champion as far as, like, looks wise and, like, body wise, she'd be like a, a ribbon. A ribbon, definitely like a ribbon. And with was particular skin in mind, I forgot what it's called though. Yeah. Battle Bunny Ribbon? Oh, that'll work too, but yeah. <laughs> we looked out, she's got this big, beautiful, gummy smile. She opens her mouth and it just big eyes, big makes eyes. you warm inside. I sit on my lap and she sits her and hits keys for me. She's flashed me a couple times and ulted. You know, on a really good point, too, when I needed it, she ulted and flashed me. She's five and a half months old, and you pretty much hit the keyboard the same as her. Yep. We don't have as much time to play as I would think the average gamer, especially, you know, with the baby now. It's only a super, very rare occasion where she just won't tolerate sitting down and playing or being by yourself. And in those instances, I have actually mastered breastfeeding and playing, so I don't ever have to leave the game. Do you want to help with the, yeah. the underside? OK. Because that's probably the hardest bit. It's very powerful. It's so manly. I know. I don't even know what to do sometimes. His beard's probably the source of his power. Mm -hmm. If you were a superhero, it would be the source of your power. Yeah. When I shave, my voice goes up like eight octaves. <laughs> If he didn't have the beard, I don't know. Have we played League with it oh, fully sure. gone? Not fully gone. Uh, maybe not fully gone. Maybe we can have an experiment. I need to have, oh, really? You you want to go there? I mean, I'll live somewhere else until it goes <laughs> back. <laughs> well, back in my day when I had a beard on my face, I had it all poofy like this. It's great. Back in the Civil War. We like being geeks. We don't mind it. No, I, I'd say not even don't mind it. We fully embrace yeah, it. Yeah, that's true. Being like a nerd in your late 20s is not being a nerd when you're like 12. I think a geek is somebody that is super passionate about their hobbies. It's not just something to do when they're bored. It's something that they can really just embody. <laughs> Did you just kill me? And so it doesn't necessarily need to be, you know, technology or computers or comic books. You see plenty of people like playing fantasy football, and that's just kind of like Dungeons and Dragons with pigskin. It's kind of cool to, to be able to say, like, you know, I have these things that I really, truly love, and I, you know, get to share that with people that also, like, really, truly love them. At a young age, I just started drawing. I've always drawn. Just love the whole tattooing part of it all. The icon, the persona, the attitude, the meaning behind all the tattoos that people get. Tried it one day and been doing it since I was 18. It definitely took a big level of trust to have my husband tattoo me. Hi, baby. But I had him draw up a couple things first before I just let him put a permanent portrait on my body. No pain face, no pain face. I think it's pretty cool because there are a lot of League of Legends fans out there and some people sometimes they're gonna see it and they're gonna know what it is, probably think it's pretty cool. And But even for the people that don't know what it is, it looks like a really sweet tribal tattoo. And if someone ever asks about it, I'd be really proud to tell them what it represents, what it's from. All righty, we're gonna get you this 2,000th win. Here we go. All righty, you're gonna farm, I'm gonna poke. We're gonna get you this 2,000th win. Oh, I'm gonna poke. You have Arcade Misfortune and I have Arcade Zona. Oh my god, it's gonna be Arcade Bot Lane. Our skins <laughs> match. That's funny. This bot lane, though. When we play the game, we talk about different ideas, strategy, that kind of thing. It's a fun experience. We kill each other. No, no. Yeah. 
We've gotten better with fighting, like if we lose a game and stuff. I'm not riding Zed's coattails for my 2000th win. She should have started with the smite. That's fine. It's whatever. It's a bad move, Tyler. I know. Yes, nice. Okay, let's take out this. Oh, Shaco's here. I don't want you to. I know, but I have to go back anyway. Okay. It's fine. Seriously. He yeah, is incredibly like helpful. No. Yeah, thoughtful. That's, that's not the word and... I was going for, but that's fine. No, it's We'll say it's that. Great. Yeah, we will we'll say, say that. that. He's very helpful and thoughtful. Go, 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 go. Just throw one cue and you can go back to your lane. Just st stolen a couple kills. Stolen. <laughs> From you a couple Secured. times. Secured. <laughs> that too. Remember, don't take any chances. I'm a little worried that E is going to come. Our bickering through the game has really affected our relationship outside of the game. Wait for the void oh, link. Do you know if she Pika. warded River? I don't think so. Yeah, that process of like getting to know know each other better, getting to understand how to, how to teach each other and work with each other and know each other's limits has helped us learn new things. Oh, excellent. <laughs> Alt dodge. She wasted that all so bad. I did so much damage to him. Oh, look at Swain. They're pretty far behind. Corky has nothing. Velkaz has all the kills from bot lane. I think we're going to get this. We're well, we're well, definitely going to get, give get it this a minute. turret. Give it a minute. Not quite. It's coming. It's soon. They're right behind you. About they're right behind you. Farm down. Hold on. They're all coming mid. Careful. There's a ribbon. Oh, there's a ribbon in there. She's thinking twice about it now. She did. Yep, they oh, just surrendered. Oh, they surrendered. Yes! Here, leave it on the victory screen. There you go. Yeah, just, yeah. just, just take a sip. Enjoy this moment. League is our thing to do. Our relationship is built around us working together and, you know, celebrating any milestone is awesome. 2,000 wins to me is one step on the path to Challenger. Phil and I are constantly supporting each other and bonding together. Playing League of Legends really has helped our relationship. Our lives are kind of like an adventure. They have highs and lows. They're there to support each other, but most of all, enjoy life together. I don't know what people do other than like what we do in our little lives, but League is the game that we, we play together. Kind of mellow out a little bit more after we have like an hour or two to kill a bunch of people. That sounds a lot worse than no, I was no, no. anticipating. I mean, I'm not trying to ignore uh, the hilarity in that statement. She got me into it. It's something that she's passionate about. When he's playing the game with me, I feel like we have a little bit more control of the map. Perfect day, going out on a bounty hunt, having a good chase, getting home, playing with Luna, jumping on League of Legends, and just playing. It's a good day. That'd be a good day. Yeah.